Welcome to your quick three minute second stimulus check and stimulus package update. If you enjoy these quick action packed updates, help combat the YouTube algorithm by liking, subscribing, watching through the entire update, that's a huge one, and commenting how your weekend was. My weekend was pretty great because we finally passed 100,000 subscribers. It took exactly 600 days of consistent posting since my first video to pass that milestone. And not to be too sappy about this, but I just feel extremely grateful for everyone who watches on a daily basis and just thank you. And as promised, because we passed 100,000, I'm going to be doing my cat reveal on tomorrow's video. Some of you have been waiting quite a while for this, so it's going to be kind of fun. All right, under the news. Last week was the week of deadlines. We had two 48-hour deadlines set, but no agreement was actually reached. Then this morning on CNN's State of the Union, both Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and House Speaker Pelosi were interviewed on a variety of topics, including the stimulus. Chief of Staff Mark was quoted saying, I do have commitment from McConnell that if we get an agreement between the White House and Pelosi, that is, he's willing to bring it to the floor and get it passed. Pelosi later came on for her interview, restating her optimism and issues that are keeping both parties from reaching a mutual agreement. One of Pelosi's major issues is Republicans' lack of strategic plans to crush the virus. She really loves that line, crush the virus. She almost says it as often as I say package size, to be honest. Playing to her argument, unfortunately, at least five close aides to the Vice President Mike Pence have recently tested positive for coronavirus. Three that we know of are Chief of Staff Mark Short, close aide Zach Bauer, outside advisor Marty Obst. During an interview, CNN's Jake Tapper asked Speaker Pelosi, quote, if Democrats win the White House and the Senate and keep the House, are you going to hold out until Democrats have control of everything and you can get a bill more to your liking? Or are you still going to go ahead with working with the president and Mitch McConnell, etc.? Nancy answers the latter and brings up a good point as to why both sides are still negotiating in the first place. She said, quote, I thought the president did too, and that was part of the leverage that each side had. We both wanted an agreement. Tapper asked the House Speaker, what is the drop dead deadline for when a deal can't happen before Election Day? Unfortunately, Nancy didn't give a clear answer here. Once again, reiterated the issues between health care and education between the two, never giving us an answer to what is that exact deadline. But I can tell you it's coming up very quickly. With one in every three adults struggling to pay for basic expenses such as food and rent at the end of September, now is the time to get something passed to help those in need. Then finally, Mnuchin is expected to chat with Nancy today and offer a reworked language on a stimulus bill. I will keep an ear out on this and make sure to keep you updated if anything big comes up on this end. That wraps up everything you need to know for your daily stimulus check and stimulus package update. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the link in my description for Weeble if you'd like to receive a free stock. Don't check it out if you don't want a free stock. And as always, have a profitable day.